what happened here? This is this is the beginning face off of the first period. The center won the puck to the right winger. The right wing is skated a little and then passed the puck to the right D. The right D passed the puck to the left D. Left D skated. And then he went up the boards. Now, as a coach, I prefer that the player make the pass. His left winger was on the boards and his center was going right where the, right where the left winger was. Now, the right winger, the right winger, after he skated and made the pass, he skated around and then went to the boards on the far side. All right, so here's the video. I'm going to let the clip play out, and then we'll go back and talk about it. Here he goes up the boards. And they wound up losing possession. All right, we'll play it at half speed. So here's where it comes back to the, the right wing. He turns around, and this is great. This is a great play. Right here is a great play. He passes it. He passes it to the D. The D passes it to the other D. And then this D goes up the boards. Right here. Now, he probably could have held on to that puck a little longer and bring 91 in a little bit more. Makes the pass to the other D. Now, this is where I would have liked to see him make the pass to that forward along the boards there. So he could have made the pass to 15. All right, I know 86 is there, but he could have bounced it off the boards and into the zone, and he could have gone in. Because you have one, two, three. One, two. You have the three forwards up. But instead, he skated with the puck, and there's a little clog up here, and the puck comes out this way, and White gets possession. Goes right to their D, and then it's out of the zone. This D started to move up as everybody started to go. He's the only one back. He shouldn't have moved up. He should have kind of stayed here until they had possession of the puck in the zone and then go to where he's supposed to be. But he started to skate up, and now you got a breakout going the other way. Okay. On this play, the puck comes down to the left D. Left D picks the puck up. He passes it to his right D, which is a great play. Work as a team, work as a, as a pair. However, this player from the opposing team comes in. This player, this player here from the opposing team comes in, curls in, and they pinch this D out. He tries to carry it up, gets pinched. This play here curls around, picks the puck up, and they get back into the offensive zone. What I would have liked to see here is he had a winger going to the boards. I would have liked to see him drop back a little, pull this player in a little bit more, and then pass the puck to the guy on the, on the boards. So let me show the video. Makes the pass. Now they start to pinch him. He loses possession. And now they're going in the zone. A two on one to top it off. So the D gets the puck. Passes it to his other D. Right there. He misplayed this, which probably tied him up also. What he could have done here, 
is instead of trying to skate it up this way between them, he could have skated back a little, bought a little bit more time, and then just popped it off the boards up into the neutral zone. He tries to take it up the middle, and this guy is just waiting for it. Picks it up, goes into the zone. Look at the forwards. So he was F F1, he's F2, he's F3. And for the players who don't know what F1, F2, F3 is, F1 is the first player into the zone. F2 is the second player into the zone. F3 is the third player into the zone. And they're all forwards. Notice how they're a triangle. They open the ice up. They're not right on top of each other. And this is what you want to do. You want to, you want to kind of stagger it as you're going into the zone. So if one play is going in, another play is going in, another play is going in, it just opens up the ice. So he pulls the puck over, and he tries to get a pass to this guy here, number 54. You got all three forwards down low. Everybody goes to the net, and the puck is in the corner. Now, a good play here would have been to pass the puck up to the D. And here comes the puck up to the D. Now, he could have made a pass to this D here. Or he could have sent it back down around the boards. But he tries to play it. Now, at this point, at this point, when he starts to go in, this D should have came out. Just in case if he lost possession of the puck. But what happens is 34 gets caught flat-footed. They get possession. It's a one on zero. It's a breakaway. Because the D got caught going in this way. What's the difference between novice and beginner? What you're finding? What I'm finding. So I started off on beginner. Hang on. Hold on. I started off on beginner on D and then moved up to the offense as a winger. When I went, they put me on as a winger on novice. And it's just the little nuances like, hey, as a winger, when you're in the defensive zone, Give your defense an outlet. Basically, if the get in, get your body in front of the defenseman, stay between the two hash marks, put your body up against the board, give them a stick to aim at, and then push it up to, to the center or get it around the board and then break out of the zone. Wingers are not to really break out. They're more of a, an outlet. Coming out of the D zone? Coming out of the D zone, yeah. So, I mean, it's those little – but, I mean, there's there's probably nuances on defense too. But I'm just saying as a winger, the nuance is, is making sure you're in the right position. If the D starts to, to skate towards the center of the ice, yeah, you can follow them, but don't follow them too far to where you can't get back to the board and give your D an outlet when it goes around the net. Right. It's the little it's the little tiny things that I'm noticing that maybe we don't focus a lot on a beginner just because we're just focused on at least trying to get out of the zone and into their zone and then trying to establish something. <laughs> 